How was the actual wedding in Las Vegas? It was so spontaneous and our only real guest was the photographer. Something crazy happened when you were around 20. Tell me a yes. little about it. Just like I didn't expect to see soccer trail this year, I also didn't expect to get married. Yeah, I met my now wife for the first time on her 18th birthday. I was working as a pizza delivery driver back then and she ordered pizza. Now, because it was pretty late already, she had to pick it up at the store and that's when I first met her. We had a little, little chat, but nothing more really. And then some time passed and next time I saw her was on stage because she was playing theater and we chatted again for a little while. First time we had a longer conversation was uh, on the birthday of a common friend. And I just, I felt like I really had to get to know her. Um, yeah, we, we started texting and um, went on, you could call it a date now, but it definitely wasn't back then. We went to the architecture museum in Frankfurt and had an like, hour long conversation about love, specifically about the question whether true love exists because she said no and I said yes and um, yeah about two weeks or so after that we became a couple six weeks after we became a couple we got married in Las Vegas and uh, yeah we've been uh, together ever since and uh, traveling the world together how many years have you been together now? Four and a half years, going on five now. Well, I got to know her in Germany. She was already living there and uh, had a German passport, but she was born in uh, Almaty, which is, I think, 60 kilometers from the Chinese border. She is a uh, quarter German, quarter Russian, uh, quarter like, Ukrainian, Tataric, and uh, quarter Kazakh. Big mixture. <laughs> does your wife believe in true love now? Or? Oh, I think she does. Yeah, I, I think I showed her. <laughs> Pretty confident. And you've been to how many countries together? I think we've been to every country in the European Union together. But we, we've seen many places for the first time uh, during COVID. Um, yeah, we, we didn't stop traveling uh, because of COVID. Me alone, I've been to like 60 and we probably traveled like 50 or almost 50 together. Well, uh, two years ago we bought a camper van and before leaving Germany we spontaneously also bought a motorcycle that fit inside the, the camper van. And we traveled with that for for almost two years and now just uh, three weeks ago I sold it. I sold the camper van three weeks ago and the motorcycle four hours before I took my flight to Sokota. Awesome man. What is your dream for the future with your wife? We're talking about that a lot but to be brutally honest, our dreams change quite frequently. We want to see more uh, of the world. We want to yet yeah, travel and learn. Um, in many ways, I think travel is uh, very effective, very good and very useful uh, education that gives you kind of uh, insight that uh, formal education can't. Uh, not that formal education doesn't matter. It's just uh, a whole different thing. So yeah, just like, uh, keep on traveling until we did enough of that and uh, eventually right now she feels like she wants to become a, a therapist i have no damn idea what i want to do like profession wise you married in a very young age do you have any advice to people considering i, I don't say everyone should uh, get get married with like 18 19 20 or something like that but if you feel that that's the right thing to do and that feeling lasts then go ahead and do it. I just felt so sure of that. Like between the decision to get married and the actual marriage, less than 24 hours passed like for, for us. But um, I had six weeks of certainty that uh, that this is it. And, and I have absolutely no regrets. Did As you have any challenges on the way? Oh yeah, certainly, uh, certainly. There were things we had to work on that uh, sometimes I mean, there, there are those times where you start discussing something and um, you want to solve it. So you talk through a whole night and uh, keep on talking and talking. If that happens in your relationship, you're 
perfectly normal. I'd even say that's a good thing because if you keep talking and discussing the things that come up as obstacles in your relationship, don't look at how long it takes to, to like solve it as an indicator of a bad relationship. Look at it as an indicator of how much you want to be together and to, to solve problems. Do you have uh, one message to your wife here from Socotra, <laughs> from the Gods on the Go expedition? Oh. You want to send her a message? <laughs> I know you had no internet for many days now. <laughs> uh, well, besides uh, organizational stuff that, <laughs> that I can't take care of now because there's no damn internet connection. Uh, yeah, I'd, I'd love to to tell her right now that, that I, I really miss her and um, how sad I am that we that we aren't able to do this trip uh, together. She, she found a list with uh, places that she wanted to, that she wants to visit in her life, a list that she wrote when she was eight or nine years old. And uh, Sokota is is on that list. She had a skating accident yeah. and... Um, it's a shame she was welcome anyway. But, um, yeah. <laughs> next time. <laughs> yeah, maybe next time we're gonna do it all together. Sweet man. All Great. Together. Remember to subscribe to Gus on the go. 